Hi, I'm back. Um, I'm here to do another BuzzFeed quiz to see, you know, <laughs> um, this one here is Everyone has a dominant personality trait. Eat a bunch of desserts to reveal yours. Now, I love desserts, so let's see if this one will help me out here. So let's see. Choose a cake. Yeah, vanilla, chocolate, triple chocolate, raspberry, and cream. Well, it definitely won't be raspberry and cream. I'm not much of a fruit, a uh, fruity type cake dessert person. Um, between vanilla and chocolate, it'll be chocolate, of course. But triple chocolates, according of those two in the pictures, I would go with just the regular chocolate because that's just too much icing there. I don't think. Okay. Choose a cookie. Chocolate chip. Oh, it's going to be definitely not shortbread. And macarons. I don't know if I like macarons too much. They're, they're okay. They're too crunchy, I think. Uh, chocolate chip or double chocolate? Uh, I think chocolate chip. Choose a pie. I'm not a big pie person, though. But of these four, I do like strawberry pie. I don't care. I don't eat apple pie. I don't eat cherry pie. I don't eat lemon meringue. I don't eat a meringue, period. And so I will eat a strawberry pie. I love strawberry pies. Choose an ice cream. I'm definitely going. <laughs> um, I'm not much of a cotton candy. Like that's kind of like, it's not going to be like too tart, sweetish. So I would go with chocolate chip dough of these four. Choose a cupcake. Double chocolate, strawberries and cream, lemon and rainbow. Um, if I saw these four at a dinner or a party or something. The only one I would actually want to have is a double chunk. The other three, I would just leave it alone. Unless someone like handed one to me, I would eat it just to be nice because they're not bad, they're not nasty. But um, I think, yeah, that's the only one I do. Finally, choose a pile of pancakes. I have, to be, I have to be hungry for pancakes. But I don't want berries on my pancakes. Mm, cinnamon or... I get the buttermilk because... Again, it's according to what mood I'm in. So, maybe cinnamon walnut. Nope, I'll just do buttermilk. Buttermilk's more of my choice. You're intelligent. Ooh, okay. <laughs> You're extremely smart and wise beyond your years. You know a lot about many different things, but you never make fun. I don't make, I'm make fun. You can't read either. But you never make people feel bad for not having the same knowledge as you. You're the type of person who's destined to make the make a difference in the world. I think it was a good difference or a bad difference. Oh, I think we'll do another one. That was kind of short. That was only like two minutes and some some seconds. So we'll um, let's do another. Here's definitely an interesting one. Which of the eliminated golden ticket winners are you from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? <laughs> How would you? Okay. I like you know. How would you react to coming second place? I wouldn't like it. <laughs> I don't care about the place I come in. Well, if it's this competition, seeing what they do to the kids, I don't want to come in second. <laughs> but it's platoon I didn't know. Okay. Depends on the competition. I'm always, I'm never second. I'm always first. I scream and have a tantrum. Hmm. I depends on the competition. I about the grammar and that one's kind of get me, but it would have to depend on the competition if I really cared that much about it. Do you work hard for what you want? Yes, only if it's on video games. No, I get others to take, do it for me, take the credit. I really don't have goals. I would say yes, but I really don't have any goals right now. But we'll say yes, because I've, you know, I thought I've worked hard for a lot of things. But if it's for something I want, if it's for, you know, a lot of things, very few things that I want. So I say yes. What's your favorite color? Not pink, not red. I would go with blue for that one. Watch me be Violet Beauregard. I'll be a big blueberry. Do you like spending time with others? Only if they're buying me stuff. Well, that's kind of mean. Most of the time, as long as they don't bother me too much, usually not. I would say this one. You know, I like being around people, but um, I have my limits, you know. Would you rather be an adult or a child? Adult, because you can get with, yeah, you can't do what you want. I don't care how old you are. Child, you get away with more, you, you can do that. No responsibility as a child, adult, because then you don't have to listen to anyone. You still have to listen to people. You can't just not listen to people. 
But it is nice making your own choices and decisions as an adult. But, uh, child, you could get away with more. Because you don't have responsibilities. That was kind of nice as a child, not having responsibilities. You just, you know, do what you want. Not You, know, you don't do what you want, but um, all this stuff was decided for you. You didn't really have to work. Well, most children don't. So. What is your favorite sport? Uh, I really don't like sports. Uh, video gaming, I don't, I don't kind of like any sport. Dancing, huh. None of those really suit me. I mean, I used to like enjoy dancing when I was younger, but I don't really know anymore. So I guess I'll put, I don't like any sports because I really don't play any sports. Finally, do you like chocolate? Yes, I love it. I'm in the point. Watch me I know it would be him. <laughs> when I put that last one there. Ah! Not liking sports and loving chocolate. Augustus Glue. You're Augustus, you can be greedy and self-centered, and you, <laughs> you don't always do what you're told, but you can make quick decisions and are aware of your preferences. You don't always make the best choices, though. No, I really don't. <laughs> um, alrighty, that's... Okay, that was kind of fun. God, that was even quicker than the last one. I think we have time for more. Now, this one really isn't a quiz that tells you like an end result of something like you are you are Augustus Gloop <laughs> you are intelligent this is more one I think is going to um, just kind of test your knowledge here if you don't know these food truth from the food lies you shouldn't be handling food huh. here I'm gonna throw some cranberries downstairs to see if the room okay. bread is the most commonly consumed food in the world I, I don't know I think it's consumed in a lot of places types of bread but there's a lot of Asian people, like really. So I would say rice is that one. So I'm gonna go with false. It's true. Well, I got that one wrong. <laughs> it's a source of carbs and lightweight portability may play a part in how you spend them. Next question. Tomatoes were once to believe were once believed to be poisonous. I have no clue. I guess I'll say true. It's true. Wealthy Europeans served tomatoes on pewter plates. The tomatoes would leach the lead from the pewter and result in lead poisoning. Oh, okay. They had a lot of research back then, so yeah, they did that. Next question. Pink color from rhubarb stalks contributes to the color of most lipsticks. I thought that was, I don't know, just dye? I don't know if it, I'd say false. I made that up. Next question. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard of rhubarb have anything to do with, um, uh, not that I know the, the makings of makeup, but yogurt was first invented by Vladimir Fukui. I don't know who that is. Whose last name is yogurt, spelled backwards? Huh. I know how to make yogurt. I've never made it myself, but I know the, like the process. I've read about that before. Um, let me turn my phone thing off here. Okay. I would say true, maybe. I don't. True? I made that one up too. See, I didn't even know who that was. The man who invented cotton candy was a dentist. Let's say true. That sounds silly. The inventor of cotton candy, William James Morrison, was in fact a dentist. Remember in um, the, the newest Willy Wonka, Charlie the Target Factor, whatever the name was, the newest one, with Johnny Depp in it. How that guy's uh, father was, um, how, how Willy Wonka's father was a dentist. <laughs> and then he went off to look at this candy or do something, the, whatever, he came home and the house, the whole thing, the whole townhouse was oh, vanished. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why it's funny. The first thermometers had brandy in place of mercury. I know they don't have mercury anymore because of the dangers. But why would, does brandy do anything like that? I would say it's false. It's true. Oh, okay. The thermometer concept dates all the way back to 1629. So they probably put brandy in this. Does brandy, I guess, you know, I don't know, everything expands when it's hot, but um, I don't I know. Alcohol did that better. The first concept of Edward Scissor's hand, Scissor Hands, was called Breadward Scissor Hands, and involved the character being a baker instead of a hairstyle. That just sounds stupid. Um, even if that is true, that sounds like a stupid movie. Not that Edward Scissor Hands was a good concept, but it's it made few successes. So false. I made that up. Well, good. I'm glad because that was that would have been awful. Breadward Scissor Hand, same concept, but he was a baker. Hmm. Some kangaroos keep native Australian gourds in their pouches and pretend it's a joey. Did they put a gourd in there? Uh, nope, made that up too. These are kind of weird. 
Apples you buy from the store can be up to a year old. Huh. I would think true because they can freeze those suckers. True. Cold storage belongs an apple shelf life to almost a year. I knew that one. I knew that they keep those out there. They're not freshly picked from the tree about a month ago. Those sometimes they've been there for months and months and up to a year. I know that. That's why sometimes you get apples home and they spoil quicker than um, some days. So. It takes more than 21 pounds of whole milk to make one pound of butter. Mm, does it make that much? True. It is true. Wow. It makes 21 pounds. Well, liquid pounds. Oh, and it's kind of more condensed, I'd say. Yeah. It makes that much milk to make more butter. Hmm. On December 4th, 1951, Los Angeles had one of every known fish in the world for sale somewhere in the city. It's a big city, but I don't know if it'd go that far in 1951. I said false. That's false. It'd have been really cool if it was true. Okay, I think it's time for a new quiz. This one's getting you know, too tedious. Now, this is an interesting one here. Probably my favorite one of these because I'm always, I'm always telling people that I'm an introvert. So if you see me in public, I'm not going to talk your head off. Um, unless I really, really, really know you. I'm really comfortable with you. Um, my pop, if we first meet in public, I'm not going to talk to you. Um, maybe like just little brief, little brief, little brief sentences like that. And it's not that I'm, you know, avoiding you or don't enjoy my time. I just, I don't want to. I just, you know, I, I, I don't have a lot to say. I'm not someone who just makes up stuff to say when talking to someone. So, this one here, I order a bunch of desserts and will accurately guess if you are, if you're more introverted or extroverted. Let's see, first pick a cake. <laughs> you can see I love the cakes here. Okay, we know, you know, I've talked about not really care much for the fruity kind of cakes. Uh, I like tiramisu, but I'm going back down to chocolate. This one said triple chocolate earlier. The other one, that said just regular chocolate. But, oh well. Pick a donut. Of these donuts, I love a glazed donut. I always, that's my go-to. I think I might, I should go to Dunkin' Donut. Okay, there's pistachio, now. I don't know, I don't want that. I would like cookies and cream, and I would like with sprinkles. However, I think I will go with the chocolate with sprinkles. Pick a cupcake. Chocolate would be my one go-to of these four. I would have the other four if they were given to me again, like I said earlier. They're not nasty, don't look horrible, but chocolate's the one I'd actually grab. Pick a pie. Again, I'm not a big pie person. Um, I would not pick any of these pies. <laughs> I wish there was an option that was choosable. Um, I don't like pumpkin pie. I'm definitely not going for that one. Oh, this is hard. This is tough. I would never, if I saw these options on a table and they were the only options, I would just opt for not having dessert that day. Um, even if it was Thanksgiving, I would just opt out of <laughs> I would just opt out of <laughs> having dessert and you know try again next year. But if these have to pick one option, I will pick the lemon meringue. <coughs> pick a milkshake. Oh. See, extreme chocolate I think, and I love chocolate, but I think it's too much chocolate sometimes. After that I would need like something to drink or something. I'll do vanilla. I would not do red velvet. Uh, cookies and cream. That does look good though, but I would go with vanilla. Pick a muffin. I'm not a yeah. chocolate chip. Ooh, there's chocolate and chocolate chip. I would not do these two. Oh Lord, I would have to go with the chocolate muffin. Pick a pudding. Uh, let's see. Strawberries and cream, blueberry, flan. I do. I don't really care much for flan. You know, it's a Mexican and Spanish type dessert. Raspberry. Uh, la 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 la. I would have to go with the strawberries and cream, most likely, of these ones. I like blueberry, though. But I don't like that picture. I don't like a flan. I'll do strawberries and cream. Pick a cookie. Sprinkles. I would definitely go here, and there's no question. Well, peanut butter and chocolate's good too, but I would go for this one. Pick a macron. Oh, macron, macron. I really don't eat those too often. I don't like crunchy. I don't like that stuff. You know, if we can't soak up milk, um, and these aren't the best for that. But of these four, again, if I had to pick one, raspberry, mocha, strawberry, vanilla, I would have to go with hmm, vanilla. Or no, let's do mocha. I like mocha. Pick some ice cream. Uh, coffee? No, I don't want coffee ice cream, no. Triple berry, cherry. Hmm. 
I would do, I, I guess I would do coffee. I mean, I'm not, a, I like coffee, but I'm not really big on coffee dessert, but I'll just find that. Pick some waffles. I would do the chocolate waffles compared to any of these. Charcoal, charcoal waffles? What in the world's that? Charcoal, is there such a thing? As, wow, ugh, that sounds, <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. That makes, you know, hmm. Wanna eat charcoal? You know, more power to you, I guess. Lastly, pick some pancakes. I would pick the original or strawberry chocolate. And I would just, I don't like strawberries. Uh, that's a tough decision. I would have to pick this one. You're an introvert. <laughs> no, no joke, really? You're definitely more of an introvert. You enjoy hanging out with people, but you need to take some time for yourself at the end of the night so you can fully recharge. You know how to enjoy your own company and that's awesome, see? That is me. You know, I could have done so many things this weekend. Um, I'm, actually, I'm actually going somewhere tomorrow, I think. I'm going, out with, I'm going with a friend. I'm not going out. I'm going with a friend um, to a wedding, I think, tomorrow. So that's that's a big step. I, I don't know anybody at the wedding. So this is a huge, like, very uncomfortable thing for me to go to this wedding. Um, but I'm doing it. I guess to get out of the house. Yeah, I'll be with a friend, so. Oh, uh, should I do one more? Let's do one more. Here's one that I... <laughs> We know where your soulmate is right now. Just make some tacos to find out where. Where is my soulmate? Oh, let's see where that person is. Um, hard or soft, soft, well, hard shell or soft tortillas. I again, it gets good according to my mood, but I do like a hard shell taco. Okay. Add some protein. Do I just pick one? Okay. Uh, chicken, shrimp, pork, no thing. I won't definitely be no thanks. Um, I like carne asada. But carne asada. Um, oh, somebody sent me something on this. there. Beans, shrimp, pork. I'll go chicken. Ooh, lettuce. Yeah, let's put some lettuce on there. Veggies. Oh no, no onions, no cucumber, no. You got pickles on your taco? No. Hey, I would go with tomato. Put a tomato there. Add something on top. It would either be mild salsa or Tabasco. But since I want more of something, it would most likely be the um, mild salsa. Add more toppings. <laughs> Chilies, pickle de gallo. I like that in a pickle de gallo. Uh, fried onion. Hmm. Let's put some pico there. Finally, who are you eating your tacos with? Is this going to tell me who my soulmate is? <laughs> my significant other, my pet, uh, my neighbor. Oh, gosh, I don't know. A friend? I would say friend, I guess. But I eat Mexican restaurant mostly with my family, so. Who are you? Let's say my family, I would say. Your soulmate is in, in the UK. Well, I need to go to the UK. My soulmate's in the UK. Uh, your soulmate is perfect for you on paper. They are somewhere in the UK. So, all right, let's go to the UK to see where I need to find my soulmate there. So. <laughs> all righty. I think that's enough quizzes for today. Thank you for watching. And <laughs> see you next time. Bye-bye.